We're here day two at Bradenton. Finally got to sleep in my own bed last night about five hours before heading back up to the shop. Did a couple adjustments on the car you'll see in this video. So we're in line, we're ready to make our first hit. We got the car turned up a lot. So as long as we can leave smooth, it's gonna be a rip of a pass. So maybe we'll be one and done. We got a long drive to Georgia today. Get some good content out to you guys. Hope you enjoy. Make sure you watch. Thanks for watching. I don't know. But Okay, so yesterday we had to drive from Orlando to Bradenton. We left the track around 6. I got home at about 11.30 and you're thinking, how can a two and a half drive hour turn into a five hour drive? Well, we're taking all the back roads and we have turn by turn instructions on how to get there. We got a couple checkpoints we got to stop and take pictures at. So, you know, it really doubles your drive time. Today we got to go from Bradenton all the way to South Georgia. They're allowing us to drive I-75 straight up. So it's going to be a long drive no matter what but we're hoping it'd be a one and done or get on the road quickly so that we can get this drive over, hopefully get some content out to you guys today. All right, get this shit out of here. <laughs> So we just did our first hit. It's probably gonna be the only run we get today because it's already what noon. Yeah, I think so. It's already noon. They still have like 200 cars to run, and we have like a six to eight hour drive. So we got to figure out what's wrong with the car because they're breaking up like crazy. But what do we run? We got a 510. 510 and eight. So that's pretty really good. That's the best we've ever been on this tire. Yep. Uh, but we're breaking up, so we're gonna pull the log right now. See if it's something we can't fix in Bradenton. Uh, we're thinking maybe a boost pump, right? Boost and a new pump, battery. Maybe a battery. We're losing battery voltage, but yeah. we need to look at the data log and see exactly what happened that run. Yeah. But if it's corresponding with yesterday, it's going to be the same issue. So, two boost of pumps and a bigger battery. Yeah, a bigger battery and definitely a boost of pump. I like those two. OG, OG Leroy status, dude. Yeah. All right, let's get, we're going to dive into this data log. We'll show you what we're doing. Bap, bap. Oh, yeah. So, the. Uh, 
What's our fuel pressure looking like? Uh, well, that's actually like an oil pressure. That's something that I have wanted to check and we haven't. Oil pressure is steady. It starts off at, uh, it peaks at 103 and at the end of the run we're at 93. Alright, so we got good vitals. Woo! Got good vitals. Okay. Fuel pressure starts off at, um, 87 PSI dips as low as 70 PSI. And then it spiked where it broke up. broke up. And then dipped and then spiked where it broke up again. It's like having, it's like fluctuating. Like fluctuating. Like fluctuating. Do you think it's like a, do you think we should run new wires from the relays to the, you know what? It's interesting. Is. I didn't have this breaking up issue and I had two relays running each pump. Now I'm on 170 amp relay per, per pump. Really? Yeah. Getting ready to make a pass as soon as we get the top end They should draw about 30 amps so it'd be right at the peak of that. I mean, it has consistently held 11.8. It's not I know. horrible. It doesn't look like it's corresponding with voltage because when it drops right there, your voltage is still up. Okay, I have another thing we can do. I have another set of injectors. Should we replace them? I don't think it's going to be an injector issue. Because everything else is fine up until yes. second gear. It's when it has that demand for it. Let's see how much boost we made. 26 pounds of boost. That's when I broke up. And then I'm taking the boost route from there. 847 it tanked by what's the timing looking like right there too right where where it broke up yep. right before it broke up it was at 18 degrees and then dipped down to okay, 17. So steady was in a degree okay i'm not worried about that your duty cycle going crazy when it's fluctuating it's not uh going 100 is it it's at, yep, 120, 130. When it dips off fuel pressure. When it dips off fuel pressure, no. And then during the fuel pressure spike, it goes to 115. Because it's probably trying to dump more fuel, right? I think we just need to put a boost the pump on here and crank our uh, fuel pressure up. Yeah, but why did, oh, because RPM dips. So it's not demanding as much fuel. And then yep. fuel pressure rises again. Yep. Do you think it's a boost the pump thing? I think a boost to pump would fix it because as your fuel pressure drops, it's going to demand more out the injectors. Okay. So where can we source a boost to mums, pump some mums? Two of them. Once again, I need C and Are there any shops local that do a lot of pro charger tips? Pro charger tips are common to have boost pumps. Uh, we could call S and S, and we could call Bradenton Motorsports Supply. Those are the two local shops. I don't want to drive through Clearwater, dude. Frick. All right, well, let's... We'll make some phone calls. Let's make, let's make some phone calls. All right. Well, guys, we have a long drive today. So we are going to pack her up, take her over the shop, get new fuel. We have to do anything over there? So we can do a double relay setup. Double relay setup. That way we have 80 amps of power instead of 70. They're individually powered. And might have blocked the brakes up. All right, let's like do it. Got it well under Electrical guy, I like what you got going in here, brother. <laughs> you wiring up some boost of mum pumps? Yeah, let's get some power. We're going to see if we can hear a difference here. I think we're going to hear a difference. All you gotta do is flip it right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did you plug that in? Gotcha. It's not even hooked up. Did you... So we're gonna hear the pumps on regular 12. Yeah, volts. but what about the fuel line? I got it covered. You it's tightened tight. it? Yep, it's tight. She should, she should be a screamer. Okay. You got it? So quiet, right? Yeah. See, that fuse just popped because of a bad touch. Okay, so you heard what that sounded like, right? Yeah. Yeah, it does sound different. You hear it? Definitely. So let me actually pen one of these real quick and we'll get a better sound out of it. Okay. That way we can get a better result.
Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker's 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.